and I moved to Schuylkill County in the early 70s when my father became uh, the area manager, Schuylkill area manager of PPNL. And I've lived here in Schuylkill County ever since the early 70s. In February of this year, um, Micah called me and said he'd like to get together and talk to me about um, the Tamaqua Area Community Partnership purchasing the old Salem United Methodist Church. The congregation had dwindled to the point where the congregation couldn't support the church any further. And uh, Micah said that the partnership had come into uh, ownership of the building and the partnership would like to develop it as the community arts center, which was rather fortuitous because it is next door to where I live. So it made it kind of handy, which is a blessing and a curse, but nonetheless, uh, it made it handy for me. And, and we looked at the building and it was just gorgeous. I, I was very pleased that we were able to uh, uh, take ownership of that building. Once the word got out on the street that this was going to be an art center, uh, we were happy that there is quite a thriving art community, uh, arts and music community here in the Tamaqua area. So we had two open houses where we invited the public to come in and see the facility and try and get the public involved um, and to try and, and, and convey to them that the art center is there for them to use and we were trying to identify potential uses for it. Again, it was gratifying to see that kind of interest from the community and it was gratifying to, to see how many artists there were, both performing and fine artists in the area, who were going to benefit from that kind of a facility. Our open mic night is, is billed as an open stage event uh, in that uh, we are holding those. These, this was Kathy Rim's idea to, to start out doing these. And what it, the basic concept of our open stage event, uh, and we call it open stage because we encourage live performances uh, and live music as opposed to karaoke. Um, and so it, it started out um, and still goes every other Thursday uh, from 6 until 9 o'clock. The doors open at 5.30. But the concept is that um, <clears throat> Kathy Rim and I usually host it. And we'll, we'll start out. We invite the public to come. There's no charge. And we invite the public to come, both spectators and those who wish to take part. They sign up, and after Kathy Rim and I do a couple of songs to get the crowd uh, comfortable, then we'll call up performers in the order that they signed up. And they'll come up, and they have the opportunity to do three songs or 10 minutes of time. When the performers have all finished, um, we, we pass around a jar, and, and folks vote for that performer as the best of the evening by donating money into that person's jar. We then count the money in each jar and the person who has collected the most money is therefore deemed the best of the night. That person wins half the pot. And then we take the other half of the pot because the end result is that we want the center to become in the end self-sustaining. So uh, it has the open stage event has been uh, received well. We are happy that the young folks in the area, especially those you know that don't have an opportunity to perform, who are dying to perform, but can't because the places that have music are usually bars and taverns and whatnot. And of course, you have to be 21. So uh, these young folks and, and some kids, nine, 10 years old, have come in and performed, and it's, it's wonderful. It, it brings in their parents and their relatives who also want to see them deemed the best of the evening, um, who donate to their jars, and so that's, that's done very well. We're very pleased with that. And being in Schuylkill County for as many years as I have, um, I have gotten to know and gotten to perform with a lot of the musicians in the area. 
And the musicians right away came to me and said, we're performing musicians, uh, we're professionals, and what we prefer to do is just get together and network with other musicians and have the opportunity just to play free form um, in, in whatever fashion, you know, it works. So musicians are, are familiar with the term jam session. So I, I did an informal poll of the musicians in the area and tried to find out what would be a good evening for them each month to do it. And they overwhelmingly said a Friday night would be fine, so I started it on the fourth Friday of every month. And sure enough, it, it has worked very well. Uh, the musicians who are professional performing musicians really feel that it's, it would be unfair for them to enter, to the, enter into the open stage evening. So they're much more comfortable with a um, impromptu free form session where if we decide to play a certain piece of music or a certain progression and they think, gee, I'd like to play along too. They don't have to be asked. There's no format. They just walk up and join in. And that those evenings go so fast because they are so much fun for those uh, who perform that it's, it's, that's tremendously gratifying. And the music that comes out of those evenings with the variety of musicians who typically don't play together but really enjoy it, it is, it's just amazing sometimes.